from Baku Twins and today I'll be reviewing Dara Colossus. A lot of you guys wanted me to do this, to do this review, so here we go. So let's get right into it. Dara Colossus is a silver gate card called Fire Swarm. Uh, it has no rule and uh, the picture shows a snapzoid on it. And this is kind of weird. If the gate card comes with it, it has 10 G power for darkest, which is pretty weak, especially Dara Colossus is mainly darkest. Anyway, uh, for the attribute judge points, 150s for Pyrus, 140s for Aquas, 130s for Subterra with highlighted bonus, 0 for Chaos, 10 for Darkest, and 30 for Ventus. Alright guys, first off, we're gonna be starting with Broculus Darak. As you can see, Broculus Darak looks similar as Darak, but from the outside, he has a lot of green and yellowish design. Looks really cool. And yeah, this is Broculus Darak from the outside. And when you open him, he looks even cooler. You can see his mouth kind of moves, a bit different than um, uh, Darak itself. You can see um, there's more green. It has a printed G power of 750 Gs. And also, its legs can come off. I mean, can come out. And yeah, both of the behind legs will not, will just be normal, but from the front legs, it can move a bit, you know, make it more realistic. And yeah, and when you're putting a battery on it, you just push both of the wings down and ready to put the battery here. So this is Broculus Darak, very, very cool Bakugan. Alright, right now we're going to be starting with the battle gear. The first battle gear I have is Smash Tor. This is a really, really big battle gear. It's a deluxe battle gear as it brings out light when it opens. It's copper and it resembles like a uh, mouth or like a claw with teeth, like a crab's claw with teeth. Really, really cool and fierce battle gear. When you open him, as you can see, uh, for me, I need to kind of replace the battery because uh, the light is not giving out a lot. Uh, it's easy, just remove the screw and just replace the battery. Uh, very cool balcony, you can see his mouth opens and closes. A very, very big battle gear. And it has a printed G power of 80 Gs. Uh, very, very cool balcony. This goes in the side of uh, Dara Colossus. And it comes with a reference card okay the reference card for smash sword for the darkest rule it says flip a coin on heads for the rest of the battle your enemy may not gain g power from ability cards known switch attributes this can be really cool for nullifying opponent's ability cards and for the subterra rule it says you may move one standing bow gun not at this battle to its owner's use file even a pretty good rule but i would suggest the darkest rule because um Switching uh, because avoiding your opponent from using any ability cards or switching attributes is much more powerful. Alright, so this is Smash War. Alright, guys, this is the final battle gear which comes from uh, comes with Dark Colossus. Uh, this battle gear is called Riptor, a really really cool battle gear. Uh, it's even a really big battle gear, a bit smaller than uh, Smash Tor, but. Um, it gives out light, it's a deluxe battle gear, a really long battle gear, uh, and it comes with gold, it's an uh, attribute of its gold. Uh, yeah, and there's not a lot of design when it's, when it's closed, and this is when it opens, oops, fall down. As you can see, it gives out light, very, very cool battle gun, I mean battle gear, and there's a two, two pincers which comes out, makes it even look cooler. Really, really long battle gear. And it has a printed G power of a hundred Gs. Very, very cool. Now for the uh, reference card, uh, the name of it is called Riptor. It says, uh, let me just get it focused. Yeah, there we go. It says, it's called Riptor. It's for darkness. It says, every time a coin flips and ends up tails, your balcony gets 50 G power. So every time you flip the uh, coins and it comes tail, you get 50 G. Very good for... Uh, if you're feeling lucky, this ability, this reference can be really good, good for you. And for the Ventus rule, it says every time uh, a coin flips ends, flips ends up heads, your balcon gets 50 G power. It's the same rule as the darkest one, but for Ventus it says if you get heads, you get 50 for tails, you get 50 for the darkest rule. 
very very cool uh, battle gear, uh, especially re reference card, can be really useful, especially if you're lucky. Alright guys, right now we've come to the main part of Dara Colossus, is the transformation hub, and this is called Exocore. Exocore is a really scary looking like battle gun, it's massive as it is a transformation hub. It resembles as a, it resembles a scorpion, as you can see the head is over here. And you click this button to bring its tail out. There we go. Really long tail, and sharp and pointy. Looks very nice. You can rotate this 360. Um, yeah, looking really cool. Sharp uh, designs everywhere. And when you open, when you activate it, it just brings out uh, two claws. If you can take it, if you can pull it out to make it look even cooler. Uh, not so much design, not so much uh, stuff will be open as like it will not uh, reveal a lot of stuff like Dragon Colossus as I reviewed last month. But really cool, especially if you attach the battle gear on both of its sides, it will look really cool. Right now, I'm gonna be showing you how I, how will we uh, assemble it. So stay tuned. All right, guys. First of all, attach your Riptor to this side of the uh, of the uh, to this side of the uh, of Exocore, where it's showing the attribute. Then attach your um, Smash Tor to the other side of Exocore. And, uh, and finally, click the button to bring out uh, Exocore scale, and drop your Brockless Garak into the middle and watch it transform. Alright guys, after you activate Dara Colossus, there's one also cool feature that you can rotate its arms up or down depending on what you like. Really cool feature. Uh, I haven't discovered that uh, until like a couple of months ago. Really cool feature given there. Hey guys, we have come to the end of the review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe. And the next Baku review will be done on the on our winter break as right now it's the end of the summer holiday. So just uh, give us some suggestions in the comment below, uh, in the comment section. And hopefully we'll do it by winter break, alright? So see you guys. Keep on rolling. Bye.